Do you like helping people with technology? Well, hang on. I may have just the thing for you. Welcome to 10 Minute Tech Tips, an HCTC podcast of topics that I think you just might like. I'm your host, Kerry Sutton, and I'm part of the community relations and marketing team here at HCTC. I welcome your comments, so feel free to reach out to me at podcast at hctc.nest or give me a call, 830-367-5333. I love hearing your ideas, and maybe there's something that we can use on a future show. So today, I want to talk about the app called Be My Eyes, and it if, if you want to check it out online without downloading the app, it's, that's their website, just B, B-E, my, M-Y, and then eyes, E-Y-E-S dot com. And you can read all about this app, which allows you to use your cell phone to um, take a video call from a blind or a low vision person and then help them using their camera to see what they're seeing and then tell them basically what they're seeing. An example that I've seen is a a person trying to get dressed and they can't tell um, red, say red from black. And so the person may call, use their camera and say, can you tell me, I want to wear the red one. Is that the one on the right or the one on the left? And then, you know, you may say, well, that's the one on the right. And and then that, that helps them out. Maybe a person is trying to navigate a bus schedule and they're, they're reading the schedule uh, printed on the board, and they can't they can't uh, decipher which bus stop is which, and so you simply could tell them which one which one it is, or I don't know, maybe telling time. I haven't done this, so all the examples that I really know is what I've I've seen people post either on their corporate website or you know, on YouTube, which I've, I've I've looked at several on YouTube. Just make sure this thing is is on the up and up, which it certainly is. But I wanted to check it out first. To see because, you know, I've never been blind and I don't know what kind of challenges that they deal with. They, the people, they, the people with, with um, vision issues deal with. I, I don't know what that's like. I can imagine, but, you know, that that's all I can do. I can, all I can do is imagine. So um, if this is something that you would like to do, I would encourage you both to go to, online to the website. Check it out, BeMyEyes.com. And then also download the app. You can download it on both the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. So if you've got an iPhone or an Android device, you can download it. Once you set it up, um, it'll ask you a handful of questions. And then um, you can, or if you want to, you can choose to log in with Facebook, which is what I did. Um, Some people don't like that. I understand. But there's some demographic information that's already in Facebook that I I thought I would go ahead and pass along to them instead of having to fill all the questionnaire out. I'm sure the questionnaire would not be a big deal. However, it's it's done. It's, it's already keyed in, so I went ahead and, and let that go. But their stats show that right now, actually, there's 4.8 million volunteers who have signed up to help roughly 315,000 people. So... Don't think you're going to sign up for this, and then your phone's going to start ringing off the the wall. Ringing off the wall. That's funny. Your cell phone doesn't ring off the wall, but uh, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. And f- their um, their documentation actually shows that it may take you several weeks for a, a call to to get to you, simply because of the amount of volunteers. So, but um, do that. Look at it. See what see what you think. Um. For the record, I have not looked to see what other apps may be out there to help people. Um, maybe, maybe if someone has hard um, has a hearing impairment, maybe there's an app for that. I just I don't know. Um, but you know, there are a lot of ways that technology will allow you to assist other people. So with this pandemic, a lot of us may be stuck at home. Um, maybe a doctor said don't go out, or maybe you know we. We're afraid to go out. You know, whatever the case may be, um, you know, find something like this that you can grab a hold of. And you can help people, whether they be here in the hill country where we live, or you know what, this could be somewhere around the world. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe somebody who speaks English, you know, 
um, on, the, on the other side of the planet needs help at two in the morning. And so, you know, we're, you know, we're up and up and going and we can help them. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't done this. So, but I've downloaded it and I'm ready to take a call, whatever it may be. And if, um, you know, maybe if this goes like I think it will, maybe I'll do another podcast that says, hey, I've taken three or four calls. Let me tell you what my experience is. But uh, once again, I I can only imagine the struggles that um, you must go through you know, for a blind person or a low vision person. And so if, if I can help somebody, I'm more than, more than happy to do that. So I encourage you to as well. Um, if you do it, you know, give me a give me an email, um, podcast at hctc.net. Let me know how it went, or call me, three six seven five three three three, and just ask for Carrie, and they will they will get um, get you to me, and um, let me know. Um, anyway, um, thanks for joining us today. Uh, be my eyes. Check it out. Let me know what you think. This podcast should not be copied, distributed, published, or reproduced, either in whole or in part, without the express written consent of HCTC. Any inquiries relating to the podcast should be directed to the Manager of Community Relations at podcast at hctc.net. Thanks for joining us today.